We're in a convention lobby at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center for HD Expo. Now we're not talking high definition, we are talking hospitality design. Folks who design and build hotels, casinos, resorts, restaurants, etc., they come here. The expected attendance based on last year is at least 12,500 people, and they come from some 40 countries. So I'm anxious to take a look at what's new in hospitality design. First booth I saw when coming into uh, the show is the Grassolier booth, and I did not know what it meant. <laughs> Sofas since 1960 is what it means. And the gentleman is here, and the furniture is here from Barcelona, Spain, shipped here from Barcelona. And the gentleman explained that some of these products are going into a project at Caesar's Palace. I believe this is the DV booth. Can't tell for sure. They have lots of brands here. But this is an Oak Hill above counter sink. Now I've seen above counter sinks on TV and some of them look kind of flimsy and not easy to clean, etc. But look at these. These are workhorses. Big and easy to clean, I would think. And sturdy. Look at this beauty. This is a Fitzgerald freestanding soaking tub. Gorgeous. We're still in the DV booth and these faucets are labeled polished nickel, brushed nickel, and brushed cool sunrise. I had never heard of a metal named cool sunrise. Moore and Gillies leather since 1933 and here they have a video showing a chair with their leather, getting abused like crazy. Um, there have been kids, there have been spills, all kinds of things. And uh, I guess you can clean it up and uh, as good as new. It's amazing on leather. Had a little trouble with this logo, but come to find out what it is, is a chair and a TS, and the chair stands for an M, and this is MTS seating. And they have lots of chairs on display here. MTS is located in Temperance, Michigan, not far from Ann Arbor. They make everything in the U.S. They're a 65-year-old privately owned company. And I said, how's business? And the gentleman smiled. Very good. We're making it, he said. This is Hallmark Lighting in Chatsworth, California. And they have lots of different things here. They had a sign that said 3D printing. And the young woman here brought me right over and she said, this fixture, I hope you can see it, this fixture is a 3D printed fixture made in their facility. So, goodness, everything changes. This is Valley Forge Fabrics, Inc. And they have a sign that says Holy Fabrics and then look at their pillows here. So if you want some unusual uh, designs on pillows, Holy Fabrics will accommodate you. They're crowded here too. I spent a lot of time in Chicago, and I believe that's where Crate and Barrel was born. And here they are, CB2 Business Sales. We liked Crate and Barrel products because they were gorgeous and inexpensive, and I don't know for the business crowd whether that's the case, but these are unusual. We're taking a picture here. This is Fabric Innovations. And uh, the young woman explained to me they're a custom fabric house. 
in Miami, based in Miami. So if you would like a fabric of a certain color and certain designs, they will make it for you. And I said, I get the impression you're a little funky. She says, only for Vegas. This is Phil Du Textiles, and look what they have here as choices for bags to carry literature, etc. They are using their textiles. Good idea. This is called New Growth Designs, and they obviously will do a number of uh, artificial plant designs. If you want a chair that looks like it's from the woods, they will do that. I think they did that for the convention. And there's an unusual tree. Kind of cute. Not everybody who comes to conventions has it all together. Here's a guy on the floor with all of his camera equipment trying to figure out what's next. He had to ask what alum wood is, and here's an example. It is an aluminum chair with a wood grain finish. And this particular chair is one of their most popular. This is a San Diego company. How do you like this name? Better Designed Lighting. Well, here we are. And look at this. Wow. This is Christopher Fitzpatrick, and I'm in Summit Appliances, and I wanted to ask, what is it you do? Because it says specialty appliances. Right. So my name is Christopher Fitzpatrick again. I'm born with Summit Appliance. We've been in business for 50 years. This is our 50th year. Um, what we do is essentially everything. We started... <laughs> In refrigeration, as you can see, we have something that's six inch, starting with our six inch wine cooler that would go with in your cabinetry where your normal spice rack would go, or you have six inches of dead space, all the way up to 36 inches. We also do freezers, we do combo units, we do outdoor units, we do um, essentially cooking with cooktops. Now, who would who would have a tiny cooktop like this? These these cooktops, and we do them radiant gas induction um, as well as these which are European style. Mm -hmm. Many of our cooktops can be installed landscape or portrait orientation. Great view of that there. But, um, but where? In, in senior? You mentioned earlier senior. Well cooktops can go anywhere. You can have them residential in your kitchen which many people use them instead of a normal stove or oven depending on who you are especially the millennials nowadays because they don't really use the oven or if they do it's a wall oven that's mounted and this would go on your countertop you can put it into any hotel a lot of extended stays a lot of fancier hotels where you're cooking it goes there induction in particular is made for senior living and um more <laughs> does it turn off itself or what? it does it has auto shut off but more importantly if this is on i can put my hand on this burner and your hand won't get burnt you could put a piece of chocolate there and the piece of chocolate will not melt it cooks on mag on magnets oh yeah i've so, seen that i've seen that on so tv we, we install or not install we provide you with a seven piece cook cookware set with any cooktop that we have mm -hmm. that is induction um copper bottom glass bottom wouldn't work cast iron stainless steel wood um, so so contractors who they're building many units right. they would come to you and say we want right so 30 of these and correct what well. what our company does that is special and a bit different than any other appliance company is we'll sell you one we'll send sell you 200 we'll sell you 2,000 and the best part about it is, is we stock them in our warehouse we have two warehouses in the Bronx and Edison New Jersey and we will take any order at any time from any reseller builder designer and we will happily be able to facilitate that order in that way okay thank you very much I'm ready to buy great thank you <laughs> here's a niche business what they do is shower walls You have showers in your establishment, you need walls. The company is Capens. They are a Canadian company and these are fire tables. 
you hook them up to a propane tank and create fire and people in a hotel where the weather is gorgeous sit outside have a drink and uh, warm up just a little with a fire table Levant Industries is here and they have a lot of unusual trash cans much prettier than mine and carts lighted <laughs> that will be happy to take your luggage to your hotel room. See that trash can in the middle? It is extremely heavy. And I said, this is exactly what I need because I have one dog that loves to knock over waste baskets and trash cans. Therefore, in my kitchen, my trash can is on the counter. So I said, could an individual buy one of these? Yes, says the gentleman. Be about $1,500 and $300 in shipping very heavy but he says lots of hotels and casinos love these because they last forever SBI fine fabric finishing that's a lot to say <laughs> they're a Texas company and what you do is send your fabrics to them for everything including now if you watch on here there's a little bitty can you roll that for me can you see that whoops <laughs> That little bead of water, this is um, premium stain protection, and they also do, what else? Uh, nip backing, we do flame retardants, antimicrobial. Flame retardants, antimicrobial, and what else? Uh, the uh, UV inhibitor. UV inhibitor. So there is a company that does all this for the fabrics that you must use. <laughs> on your furniture or as draperies and these are beautiful samples thank you very much i stopped at make it metal and wondered what it is these folks do i figured they make something out of metal and that was wrong instead what happens is that this company and the people they have taught to do this um, take recycled metals and reduce it to powder and add it to this, that, and the other thing and are able to coat things with metal. And it looks like we have a metal panel, but we don't. There's fiberboard under here and the metal coating. And you can reduce prices this way and create beauty. I said, well, does this stuff flake off? He says, no, it doesn't flake off like paint would or some other things. It's on there, it's cured, it will last a long time. So that's what they do at Make It With Metal. This is Bo Countryman from TD Glass in St. Petersburg. I get my it's all good. We're all, we're all trying to get out of there in the summertime. Okay, it's hot. <laughs> and he gave me a huge explanation of what they do here. Can you do the simple? Show us yeah. here what. Now, what is, what are these, and we're looking at how would they be used? Blown irises here. We're a blown glass with an iris sandblasted on top of it, and we're showing up here a Japanese woodblock print of an iris. For all of our glass work, we do an extensive run of prints, artist proofs of four colors, four times each for each individual image that we create at TD Glass. Okay, so high-end folks would be interested in your art versus what they Correct. could get at Walmart. Right, for what we're example. trying to communicate through our work is the idea of serenity. Now tell me again about these. They are beautiful. So this How long this took to create? Oh gosh. The blown vessel here is a cobalt blown vessel that takes about three hours to create in the hot shop into a vinyl plotted image and then we lay that onto it. We individually blast and pluck away. They call it plucking and peeling. Okay. 12 hours of non-stop plucking and peeling. So can somebody buy one of these from you? This or? retails for 4000 and it wholesales for about 20 to 25% less if we were going to do something in, in a larger quantity. Okay, well, it's worth every penny. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, both. This for a beautiful setup for your bed. Might take a while to put it all together. This is Hillbrecht, but it's beautiful. This is the seeding shop, and if you like animal prints, they have something just for you. And we start with a design vision that the executive team and the design team puts together 
but then it's always tried to be tempered by the facilities team who always wants to take it to what they know, what's easy to maintain. How can I just do what I've always been doing? I don't know whether these um, private booths are being sold or they're just here to allow folks to talk with customers, but I have never seen them before and they look quite efficient. Turns out these pods are available for sale and or lease and if you buy a two-seater let me see here a two-seater zen pod which i think is this it would be eleven thousand dollars or you can annually lease it for forty eight hundred dollars and the man here said that this could also be a revenue generating opportunity say for hotels that would reserve these spaces, for example, to meet with customers, etc. Anyway, they seem to be very popular. When I walked up here, there were three architects who were asking all kinds of questions because they really like this idea. You like green? He is reasonable. This is global lighting. This is Hammerton lighting, and this particular. Uh, I don't know, chandelier, it looks like a big spider that might uh, come down and get you, but actually it's trying to illuminate this beautiful vehicle. An interesting sign, give water the welcome it deserves. This is the Moen booth, and they have lots of fixtures and lots of rocks here. Gold Leaf Design Group wanted to attract attention with a very big yellow duck. Dreamline, the ultimate shower door experience. Gosh, I never really thought about my shower door experiences. But looks like they have lots of gorgeous shower doors. Mun Works claims they have extraordinary mirrors. Well, this one looks fairly extraordinary. This is Southwest Looms and they have beautiful fabrics. Come to find out, they are native inspired but actually handmade in India. The world is shrinking. Aren't these beautiful? These containers are from Stone Yard and they look like stone only they aren't. I could lift any one of them. This very unusual chair is by Kenneth Coban Pew, C-O-B-O-N-P-U-E. And it is right across the aisle from the holiday decorations. Isn't it a little early for these? Gosh, we're just getting into summer. But here they are. Okay, there are three chairs here. Which one would you sit in? I don't think I'd sit in the one in the middle. This is T-I-L-I-A, their booth. This is Luma HD, Luma Design. And if you want flowers to decorate your establishment, Wow, look at what they have to offer. This is the Tadeli Outdoor Living Exhibit. And you can see the kinds of furniture they provide. Outdoor living reminds me that it's a beautiful day in Las Vegas and maybe it's time for me to do a little outdoor living. I love coming to the hospitality design show and looking around. There's lots of furniture, lots of lighting, and some other unusual items. So farewell, hospitality design. See you next year.